Hi, this time I want to talk about the fastest way, the fastest way to improve as a role player in tabletop role playing games. I have heard several times throughout the years, different people, both players and game masters, they are constantly saying things like, well, I am a role player or I am trying to improve. I am trying to get better, but this or that person in the group isn't role playing. So that's why I do this or that, or I ignore this or that. I'll go into specifics in a few moments. The first thing that you need to do is that you need to stop looking at tabletop role playing games, at least when it comes to multiplayer that is playing with other people, game master and a group, not about solo role playing. When it comes to the traditional form of role playing, you need to stop looking at it as an individual affair. Let me give you a few examples. Let's say that you are a player and you are role playing in a role playing game session. And there is this guy at the table that is constantly out of character, asking out of character questions, having a conversation with the game master. If you allow yourself to be pulled in to that non role playing, if you discard role playing and you go into that pathology because, well, he's doing it or this other guy is doing it. So I'm going to do it as well. You are regressing. You are discarding what you have learned as a role player and there is no immersion in that session. If you are a role player, you will continue role playing. Another example before we go into more, more clear situations. If you are a game master and the players are suddenly asking our character questions, don't just ignore them. Do not answer the out of character question. But now you have a character within the fiction that is talking to himself or to the gods or who knows. So make it part of the fiction. It has already happened. You cannot ignore it. As long as you role play as a player or as long as you create the role play environment as a game master, role play will happen. Immersion will follow. If you do the opposite, you are not growing as a game master or as a dungeon master or as a player or as whatever, or as a player character, you are regressing. Let me give you a few more specific examples. Like I said, clearer situations in the first Ravenhawk session, we had that non role player that is now out of the game. Mister, he was constantly trying to drag down the session with his non role playing ways, making out of character questions, asking out of character questions, trying to destroy immersion with his lack of interest, all of that. But Big Bad RPG, Eli and I, we would not give in, do not give in to the demands of the non role players. We kept on role playing. We made his stupidity part of the role playing session, part of the fiction. Now the two adventurers, Jace and Marcus, were traveling alongside this elf that was a bit insane. He constantly, he was talking to no one. And remember, for those of you that do not know what role play is, because there is a plague of non role players in the role playing game hobby. Please check out my beginner's guide to role play video in the description. Role playing is not storytelling. Role playing is not acting. Role playing is not having a conversation. Role playing is playing a role. When you play tabletop role playing games, you are playing a game and you are playing a role. You are describing your character's actions in the present, in the now. And then something will happen because of those actions. And of course, the game master is going to be presenting the situations, is going to be playing the role of the non player characters. When it comes to a, a good example, a more positive example, Kevin in my Zodiac Ring anime campaign that is going to happen again. The next session is going to happen this Wednesday. At first he was stumbling. He was not in the present. He was in the I'm gonna, I will, he was not here. 
but he kept on going. He had the willpower to, I was, I'm going to role play. I will role play. I am role playing. He had that mindset. So halfway through the session, he started to describe his actions in the present, in the now. I do this, I do that. And he accomplished role play. I also liked it that Alberto in that session was, had his, his character's actions so present, so in the now, that he was actually saying, I'm running around and I shoot. You see, I'm running around in his mind. Tomelodon, the skeleton, was never static. And this should be the case in every tabletop RPG combat situation. Your character is not like a chess piece that is just standing there and is, I attack. The enemy attacks me. No, no, no. You're constantly vying for the position, trying to take advantage of the right angle to strike. Your character is moving, shifting and moving about. Whether you are using miniatures or not, you must always have the image of your character moving organically so. That's how a real fight proceeds. And so, if you want to improve as a role player, Stop thinking about the session as an individual affair. If you are a player, do not get dragged because of the non-role-playing habits of the others. In both situations, in the case of the uh, Zodiac Ring or the Ravenloft camp uh, session, the other players could have been let themselves go. Let, they, they could have uh, relinquished control and allow themselves to be dragged out of the experience they could have easily started to ask out of character questions. They could have started to ask out of the present, or rather make out of the present descriptions, rather make out of the, the present descriptions. They could have started, I will, I'm gonna know. They, they were had the, the mindset, the willpower of I am role playing. I am in the present, I am here in the now. In the case of pretty much any session, when I see someone stumbling with the non role playing, when they are not able to achieve role-playing, I never ignore their out-of-character questions. I make it part of the session. Like, the, this character was under the influence of the mind control. Or this character had this mistake. He was actually looking around to see if he could accomplish this or that. He is actually looking around to accomplish this or, ra or that, rather. So you, you need to make it part of the, the fiction. Do not ignore that, um, those missteps or those errors. Integrate them. Make, them. make them part of the session. Like in the case of the Ravenhawk session, now you have a character that is a bit crazy, talking to himself. In the case of the horror session, uh, beyond the back rooms, using the behind-the-wall system, when Josh started to go out of character, it actually it was role played as if his character was losing losing his mind. In the case of the um, Zodiac Ring, uh, Eli's character Ake, he was suffering some sort of weird mind control effect from the cultists. So make it part of the fiction. Try to do it so, and remember. No one is perfect. We all stumble. We all have less than perfect performance. That's why, that's why we always strive towards perfection. You will never accomplish perfection, but you must strive towards it. And that's how you will achieve growth as a role player. And once again, stop thinking about, well, I was role playing, but my players were not really interested in role playing or were not interested in advancing or improving. That's your fault as well. Because when that player made an out of character comment, out of character question, whatever, you ignored it. You didn't address it. Then, in the moment, when your player started to, I'm gonna, I will, I, you kept on going with it. You are not improving yourse yourself, you are not improving. So stop thinking about tabletop role-playing games as an individual affair. You are part of a team. And we all work together to fix each other's mistakes. 
Once again, no one is perfect. Because there could be some uh, low IQ people that could be thinking, well, this guy is giving this advice because he is perfect. No! <laughs> we are all trying to improve. So thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any comments or questions, please let me know. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel, the information on how to do that will be in the description below. And remember, it is better to roleplay and fail in character than not to roleplay and fail as a player. Once again, thank you. And see you later.